Do you want to sell your products directly on Facebook? In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can set it up as a sales channel on your Shopify site, as well as how to set up a Facebook shop to make it easier for your customers to shop through Facebook. Hey, welcome back. My name is Kirsten. If you're new here, we help you with actionable tips and strategies to launch and scale your e-commerce business. So that if, if that's something you're into, be sure to hit subscribe and let's get into the video. All right, so before we start, we need a couple things. You want to make sure that you have an active Shopify store. So if you don't have that yet, you can grab your free 14 day trial in the comments or the description. And next, what you want to have is you want to make sure that you have a Facebook profile a Facebook business manager and a Facebook page, but don't worry, we're going to get into all that. So the very first thing is have a Shopify store. Again, go to shopify.com and get started with your 14 day trial. Okay. So the very next thing you want is you want to have a Facebook profile. So by going to facebook.com, you want to make sure that you are logged into the profile that you want connected to your business account. Okay. Awesome. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go and set up a business account. If you do not have a business account through Meta, then what you'll do is go to business.facebook.com. Again, links are in the description and set up your, your Meta for business account so that you can start advertising and get your page together. Great. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a Facebook page set up for your business. If you don't, there's a couple ways to do it. You can either go to the menu here and go to pages or you can click on pages. They bring you to the same spot and then you can click on create new page for the, this video. Um, I have created a page called Matt's Mutt's apparel where we will be setting up the Facebook shop. All right. So once you create a new page, you want to give it a, name, you want to go through the setup process of this. So really quick, add a cover photo. Don't worry about the button yet. Okay. So once your Facebook page has been set up, you want to go down to the free meta business tools and click on sell your products. Okay. And you want to go through the prompts to actually create your Facebook shop. So what you'll do is you want to click on start shop setup, and this is going to bring you into commerce manager. Okay. So when you click here on next, there's two things we're going to do. Um, later in this video, I'll show you how to actually connect Shopify so that you have your Facebook pixel installed and it's been added as a sales channel. But for now we want to add the checkout with Facebook. Um, Instagram is going to be covered in a different video, but check out with Facebook or Instagram and you will select that one because this will prompt us to create a Facebook shop. Okay. Keep in mind that this is only available for us businesses and businesses that is registered in the U S and has a U.S. bank account for verification purposes. If you do not, if you're not in the U S then you could just, you know, uh, scroll to the, uh, the end of this video where we say check out on another website. Okay. So let's click on this. Once you're in commerce manager, it will bring you through a quick setup prompt where number one, you want to add products to your catalog. So let's actually start there and either you can click on add more items or add your first item. So you have a couple of options here. Um, if you have just a couple products, I recommend doing it manually, or if you already have Facebook set up as a shopping channel where meta can pull data already from your Shopify store, you can click on this. Um, but for this, let's do manual. Awesome. So what we want to do is we want to take this information from your website with the product that you're looking to list. This is an example product. Let's take the product name. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is grab the product name. Okay. Next we will grab the product description. Okay. Next the website link product page, because if somebody wants more information about the product, they will be able to go straight to the product page. Okay. Next for the price, you want to make sure it's listed in the right currency. So that will be 69.99 in us dollars. So we have USD. Okay. If it's on sale, you can create that, but just scroll to the category. This is a fitness product. So we can do exercise and fitness new in stock. 
And then the last thing you want before you can add the item will be you need an image. So make sure that that image is in a PNG or a JPEG, otherwise it won't be the correct one. Okay, and click on image, drag and drop the image, and that will be associated with the product. And then once you have that, you can click on upload items. And then that is going to start building your product catalog. The catalog does have to go through approval before it's live and your shop is live, but one thing at a time. Excellent. Okay. So let's actually go back to overview. So we have added our products to the catalog. Number two, customize the shop. So customizing your shop layout, they're going to bring you to a builder where you can actually create the custom experience of what you want your Facebook shop to look like. That was a nice little video we didn't want. Okay. So you can literally see down here, you can make dynamic products. So dynamic is going to be, if you have a catalog that you want people to scroll through and you can look to create this Facebook shop um, by dragging and dropping. And they do have tutorials and FAQs to help you actually build a good looking experience. Okay. Next, what you want to do is you want to, uh, once you're happy with it, you want to upload it and publish your shop. Okay. Next, let's go. We've customized our shop. And lastly, when everything looks good, you've double checked it. You want to click on publish shop just like that. And once you do that, then you want to, uh, you'll likely see your shop is pending or your shop is pending review. So right after that's been done to make your shop easy to navigate to what I recommend is going to your Facebook page, um, logged into your profile. And again, you do need to be, um, yeah, logged into your profile. You want to click on add button. Okay. Adding the button, you want to go to, um, view shop. So because I'm in Canada, unfortunately I don't have that option. Um, so the next best thing I'm going to do, if you are in the U S you want to update your button to view shop so that it will automatically go to your Facebook shop. Now that's all connected. The next part that we want to do is we want to connect your Facebook, uh, Facebook as a Shopify shopping channel. So here's what we do. The first thing, if you do not have the option to view the shop then what you can do is click on shop on website and add your website URL so that anyone who visits your Facebook page is going to be able to go to your website with one click. Okay. So let's head to the second part of this video, which is setting up Facebook as a shopping channel sales channel. So logged into your Shopify store, we want to go to apps and what we're looking to do is download the Facebook app. Okay. So we're looking for Facebook channel. Click on that. You want to add the app. And then what you want to do is you want to follow through a setup process of how to actually connect your business manager, your Facebook page with your Shopify store. This is how we're going to make sure that the Shopify pixel, sorry, the Facebook pixel is collecting data from your website to help your targeting and everything be well. So we have a couple things. We've already done the Facebook shop. Okay. Um, the second thing that we're doing is we want to do Facebook marketing, and this is what will allow us to, um, create ads, collect data, etc., by making sure that Facebook and Shopify are connected. So what I want to do is under the Facebook marketing, click on start setup. And what you want to do is you want to go through these. You want to first off, connect your Facebook account. You can either do Novane verification here, or you can do that in business manager by recommending just do it all here. So it's connected. So verify your domain, select the ad account that you will be advertising from, connect your Facebook page, go through the data sharing policy, confirm the Facebook targeting country that you're working with and accept the terms and conditions. After you do all of that, Facebook is going to be set up as a channel and pro tip. Sometimes the connection breaks every week or every two weeks. So be sure to check back to set a reminder on your phone to check that the channel is still up to date so that your Facebook ad account is getting the most up to date information through the pixel. Apart from that, please let me know how you get on with setting up Facebook with your Shopify store. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments. Um, but outside of that, thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video.